Hello, good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly vlogs. It's Tuesday today. I took the day off yesterday to do some um, work. I, last week, when I was editing the video yesterday for last week's vlog, mentioned the weather about 80 times. If somebody wants to go back and watch that video and do like some sort of count of how many times I say it's really hot. So I am only gonna say this today. Today, my friends, it's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. Today, my friends, it is hot. It's Tuesday. Ethan's gonna school trip, which always like terrifies me. It's like his first big adventure on a coach. So I'm like, oh, England are playing tonight. So Stephen is full of hope and joy in his heart. You'll know the result by now. I don't know the result. Let's hope they did well. Let's hope Stephen is is living his best life. My plan today is I've got to do some work and also I'm organising what I'm doing for the summer holidays. So we've got two weeks holiday, so we're going to Italy and Devon, which obviously I'll vlog. Then the kids are in summer camp for one week doing like sports and activities. And then I've got, so I've got like three and a half weeks by myself with them. Or is it four weeks <laughs> by myself with them? So could you leave in the comments below if you're a mom? or a dad or a nan or whoever, how do you entertain your children for that amount of time? And if you're a child that's watching this, what did you used to do when you were little? You know, did you used to go to summer camp? I wanna know. I need all of your inspiration. So that's my plan for today. I'm gonna go and do some mumming and try and work out how I'm gonna entertain these little munchkins. I'm not sure I've ever sat here before. And have you ever noticed my wallpaper? I didn't put it up. It's it was here already. We need to get this redecorated, really. Um, one of the websites I've been looking at for the summer holidays is one called Five Minute Fun. It's got loads of different, really quick and easy five minute activities on there that you can do with kids from one to six. So they'll be really good for Ethan and my little Erin. Loves being a bit bossy. So she can help Ethan out as well and go, oh, this is how you do it and this is how you do it. Uh, it's a really good little site. There's a shop in there. I've got a discount code if you go and look to get some money off the shop. I'll leave kind of um, how much and when it runs out by so you can try and get some things. But you can use a lot of the activities just with stuff in the house. I went out and I bought the other day. Now I'm not a crafty kind of mom, but I'm gonna try this. So when Ethan's back tonight, because Erin goes to street dance by herself. That's me, <laughs> that's me street dancing, dabbing, not sniffing my armpits. I'm gonna try and do some crafts with him and be like, you remember I said last week I wanna be super good mom. So I've got all some bits of love. I've got some googly eyes and some glue sticks and I'm gonna try and make, I'm gonna try and do, so I'm going to the 100 ideas of summer holiday bit and I'm gonna try and make, do, I might even do some painting. So I'll let you know how it goes later. Um, when they've got back in from school. So yeah, five minute fun, really easy activities. Um, good to kind of, especially in the sun, they can just do it outside as well. So next scene will be Ethan doing crafts whilst I watch on, hoping that I can help him and not be a bit rubbish. <laughs> Yay, Ethan's back from his trip and he had a lovely time. <laughs> I like, I hugged him like I, he, like I'd not seen him in years. Right, Erin caught wind that we were gonna do crafting whilst she was at dancing, so wanted to get involved. So Erin and Ethan were ready and set up. And um, they're gonna, they're gonna do some painting from the five minute film website and it's gonna be ace, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, they're gonna be much better than me. I've laid out all the stuff the kids need to use on the back table. If you visit the 5 Minute Fun website, you can sign up for a weekly newsletter. It'll give you loads of different activities right to your inbox. Now let's see how they get on. We did it, we did it, yeah we did it. And by we, I mean they did it, they did it. Oh, they did it, Ethan's just putting on his eyes. I absolutely love them. It makes you wanna try more craft in the summer, it gives me hope. 
so as I say it's five minute fun I'll leave the website below there's also a discount code which I will leave below and any other information that you need oh I feel so happy right I now have to get these two fed and this one off to dance <laughs> I don't know why I did that oh I can never take it back it's Wednesday and I've got makeup on you can tell when I've got my when I'm going to film some videos because I have makeup on. So today I'm planning to film a Disney IGTV, so go and check that out. Um, and also a Home Bargains haul, which you would have seen. With Mrs. Meldrum, I'll link that up above. So I've got to go and pick up. Um, basically, I've been trying like I've been trying to get the house sorted. We've been here a year, and we've not really done very much to it. So I am expecting loads of deliveries deliveries and we'll some blinds for upstairs because we're currently sleeping bright light um what else have i got coming i've just got i've got to go to my to pick up some like homeware um i've just got loads of parcels coming at the moment um so i'm gonna have to leave a little note on my door saying could you just come back another day or leave them by the side of the gate or hope they don't come in the next hour uh so yes it's getting Shizzle, it's filming, it's editing, it's getting shizzle done. Uh, England won last night. You would have known that, but now I know that. And Stephen was so excited. When it finished, he put on, um, it's coming home, it's coming. And like just danced around with like no top on. It's just, it was, he was so happy. I also think this afternoon I might start transferring some of my stuff from in here down to the garage because he made some drawers last night to put our um paper and envelopes and stuff in so a nice good busy day i'm feeling very motivated which is good um so i'm gonna go to the shop i think it's always helps in seems of the school it seems of the school on one day a week so on that day i can like get ready and i feel quite nice oh also this top um is a vintage primark I wondered if you wanted me to do something like a shop my wardrobe. Is that even a thing? Where I just do like a haul of clothes I really love but I already have. And I've, they're not new. But then I don't know if that would help because then you won't be able to buy any of them. But I don't know if that makes sense. Let me know if you want to see that. So it's kind of like outfits I like or maybe like a lookbook or something. Using clothes I already have so I don't have to keep buying new clothes all the time. I'm off to the shop. I'm back. I've had a bit of a disaster. I popped into Matland and I got the kids some clothes for summer. Um, just some little dresses and shirts and stuff. And I bought this really nice little plant pot and the lady wrapped it up. The lady wrapped it up in shorts. I went to some very shorts and went, don't forget the plant pot's wrapped up in the shorts. And I was like, yeah, okay then. Walked out. A bit, bit. Went to home bargains. Lived my best life. Came back here. Got the Matland bag. You'll see it there. And just flew it. I just threw it, and as it was mid-air, I was like, Fuck, there's a pound put in there, and it, I just broke it, so. That's my happy tale <laughs> today. I'm now going to film a home bargain haul. Um, make sure you go and check it out. Uh, I I went to two home bargains, and the home bargains definitely, this is so boring, home bargain chat. They definitely differ in different parts of Birmingham. One home bargain I went to was better than this, the one I went to today. The end of the home bargain chat. I just got some books delivered from Amazon Prime. I got The Break of Marion Keys. I love Marion Keys. I've just always loved this since I was, since I was young, because one day, I did used to be young. I've got Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I've not read this. I bet lots of you out there have read this. So let me know about that. And also I got The Carries by Dorno Porter on Amazon. I'm sure it was, I think I paid about £14 for the three of them, so it was much cheaper than full price per book. So I probably should invest in some sort of Kindle, shouldn't I, Lucy? What do you, Lucy? Lily! I probably should invest in some sort of Kindle, shouldn't I? But um, I like the feeling of a book. I like the smell of a book. I like folding the pages back as a bookmark, which I'm sure loads of you be like, you're a heathen. I just love it. I like sitting around the pool with a book and that's what I plan to do on holiday. So when we do our vlogs from holiday, I'll give you a bit of a um, an overview of what the books are like and see if I can recommend them or not. Surely Marion Keeney, that's got to be a winner, hasn't it? Because she's just, 
she's such a funny funny lady so i'm going to go and pop these down this is what we this is what happens in this house i take stuff and i walk with stuff and then i just go to the stairs and i leave it on the stairs like this in the vain hope at some point someone will take it up it's always me but it's just there and then i just go like this buy stuff and then i forget about it right i'm gonna go and edit my disney q a there's some great questions so thanks if you ask questions but it was over on instagram do you follow me on instagram because you, sh you bloody should right time to edit kids are back and this one with their crazy suntan lotion hair from school yeah. they've asked because we've been tried we've tried <laughs> two types of oreos yeah. haven't we so we are going to try together these we need which skin. Which have a are, no not a handful just a couple these what? are sweet heat skittles from america <laughs> and they want to try them i'm terrified and i am if you live in America, we don't have these in England, so I'm going to open them first, see what they look like. Yeah. Okay, it says they're fruity flavours with a spice to kick, so take maybe... No, no that's no. very... Don't snatch. Take three each. One, two, three. Three. One, no yeah. snatching in this house. Two, right, and I'm going to have three. It's like, whoops. Right. Okay, are you ready? You two stand together so I can see your reaction at the same time. Ethan, come over here. Go back a bit, gorgeouses. Okay, back a little bit. You ready? On your mark. Let's get set. Go. Oh, no. They're not spicy. Or... My tongue. I don't like them. I don't My like them. Oh! Don't get them. Don't get them. Can I have one more? No. <laughs> I like them. Oh no. They're gross. I'm gonna save them for daddy. <sighs> My throat's still burning. Oh, so that's this week's taste test. Oh my god, that was foul. Good morning, my loves. It's Zaza. Hey. Hobbling, hobbling upstairs. Oh, it's so bright up here. I've been waiting all morning for a pass to come. And I can't live my life just sitting there waiting. So I've come upstairs. You know I'll come upstairs now and the blooming door will go. But yesterday I popped to Matalan, as I said, because I went to pick up a click and collect for some homework for my new office and I would do a haul in a few weeks, probably when I get back off holiday. And the trouble with clicking, you're like, click and collect, it's fine, I'll just buy the stuff and I'll click and I'll collect it. Then you click it and collect it and you walk into the shop. I'm not going to look at any of the... And then I just saw the kids' clothes and I was like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And I walked in, so I clicked and collect a big massive bloody parcel and then collected more stuff with my eyes and my hands. So I thought I would show you... I'm looking where I can pop you. I thought I would show you some of the stuff that I bought the kids. I might just have to hold you for the kids to go on holiday. So going on some holiday. A lot of the stuff that we have that was kind of summery clothes is Disney stuff, which is not ideal. I am gonna move, I am gonna put you somewhere, which is not ideal, obviously, for every holiday. We don't always want to wear Disney. Um, so oh hello! <gasps> The bloody, I swear to God, I'm going to kill him. Every day I say to him, look, please don't leave your clothes in there because every time I take like an Instagram or video, your clothes in the background. I'm gonna burn them, I'm gonna stop burning them. So yeah, as I said, 
don't want, they don't want to wear Disney all the time, so I bought some other stuff. So this is all from Matalan. For Ethan, for £6, I picked up this kind of little paint splattered little um, pillow shirt, which I thought would be really, really nice. And this, I mean, it's a look. A fluorescent pineapple shirt, which was £7. That was the only two things. There wasn't that much there for the boys at all, um, which was a shame. But for the girls, some great stuff for the girls. So for Erin, now she's seven, but I've got in a size eight. And she tried one this morning, and they were still a bit too short. She's so tall. Just a little striped kind of... Um, little striped frock with stars on which I thought would be really good just from the beach or just walking around if we go to like a market or something because that's what you do when you're on holiday in a foreign country <laughs> I've been on holiday in a foreign country that hasn't been a Disney holiday for so long I don't think we're going to know what to do with ourselves I picked up this t-shirt because it's her dream now this was in seven because it's quite a long t-shirt and that's four pounds she has a habit of wanting to wear make t-shirts crops which I don't like so I'm just continuously keep buying really long t-shirts and being like a really mean mom. This I love and I might put her in this tonight because we're going to the theatre. This is £14 in a size 8 and um, you leave in the comments you will know is it Swing Anglaise the pattern please let me know I can't remember what it is. Broad Anglaise or something. So it's a little dress. I would wear this if this was in adult human size. So she'll look gorgeous in that. We've got the, what does it say on here? No, these are, these are £10, which I think is a bit, I actually think that's quite a lot for these actually. But these are similar sort of little shorts. Um, I've got those in a size 8, but they are quite baggy around the waist. And to go with it, I love this little top. And I think this was £10 as well. Mama was feeling a bit, a bit flash. This lovely little blue top. I thought that was gorgeous. And then for £14, I got her this little short jumpsuit with that kind of detail on the back, which I thought was gorgeous. And it's buttons at the top, and I thought, oh my god, her going to the toilet, this is going to be a nightmare. But you know, I thought it was pretty. So there we go, some little. Some little Matalan treats for you. Um, I can't wait to go on holiday. I can't wait to, I'm really, really excited. I'm really looking forward to the summer. Um, if you watch previous vlog, I'm not gonna do Vlogus because it's too much in the summer. If you watch previous ones, sometimes I struggle a bit in the summer, but I'm really looking forward to this summer. I'm really looking forward to it. Now, I'm gonna end this section of the video because I actually went to Louise's house at the weekend and I filmed some clips whilst we were there. So we're now gonna go back in time and go and find out what happened when Katie and I went to Louise's house and we got in the hot tub. Um, I hope you enjoy it. So I'm sure it'll just end dramatically because this is the end, this is the end bit with like a sequel of Louise's bit. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, a high five if you're going to subscribe. I hope you enjoy the mayhem with Louise, Katie and I. I can't wait to see you for another upload soon. Make sure you watch the Home Bargains haul and then maybe I might do a makeup tutorial because, you know, it would just be nice to put makeup on my face, to be honest. I love you lots and I'll see you soon. Night guys. I'm off to Louise's today and I know a lot of you love Louise, a lot of you love it when we're together. Uh, my mum especially loves it, so this one's for you mum. So I thought we would start off today's weekly vlog with a trip to Louise's and going to see Katie, Mummy, Daddy, me as well. I'll link below both of their channels so you can go and check them out. Um, weather check, it's still warm, Lucy. I have quite a few DMs often or comments saying, are you sure Lucy's not deaf? Lucy is definitely not deaf. She just does not have any interest in me. Lulu, Lucy, where are we, Lulu? Walkies. If Stephen was here, she would be moving. I promise you. Walkies, Lulu. Walkies. She just doesn't. It's bizarre. She just does not give any. F's about me whatsoever. I love you, Lulu, I love you. So I'm gonna go get in the car, I'm gonna try and pop to Waitrose, pick up some snacks and take them. 
I'm wearing like a vintage top and a red skirt. The red skirt's new is from ASOS. No, it was in the sale from ASOS and this is an old top. Is there such a thing on the internet called shop my wardrobe? Have I invented that? Where you kind of like, it's like a haul but of stuff you already own. Does that sound weird or rubbish? Because I'm always a little bit conscious about fast, fast fashion, how like if you continue to do Primark hauls and stuff, you're not really helping like the environment. So I thought I could do like a video of outfits that I already own. Maybe, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Right, I'm off. I'm at Louise's house. I wanna show the healthy buffet. So I've gone for just, I'm, I'm covering the cookies. Oh, I've gone for strawberries and watermelon. The I'm covering the, the cookies and covering that and covering that. And we've gone for more watermelon and Diet Coke. And that is that's it. That's that's it. it. Oh. Look at Pearl's lunch. These are my favourite. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Louise is making me some dinner. Yes. <laughs> Sweet potato and pasta. Sweet potato. Can we just show your hair? Yes. Basically, I'm now Megan from Love Island. So um, Louise is a bit behind in Love Island. So she she's she's team Megan at the moment because she doesn't no, know what's going on. No, not on her team. Oh. I just like her hair when she did this. I don't one. even remember that she wore I'll tell her you hair. Yeah, I do. I'll tell you whose team I am on. Oh! I think. Ooh! Unless it's changed since I oh. watched it. Dr. Alex. Well. Oh no! Something gone wrong. Not really. He's just he's just perhaps not as nice as you think he's going to be. No! Not, not too bad. But he could uh, save my life. He could save your life. Break my heart. I can't, put it back if you were going to go out and whisper in, if you were going to go out with anybody on Love Island, who would it be? I'm not going to whisper out this. I'll go out with Alex. Would you go out with Alex? No, or Jack. He's, Jack is the hottest. Oh, he's not. He's got really, really funny teeth. They're just too white. I think I would probably go, probably go out with Alex. Yeah. But secretly. Oh, no. I'd probably have North Streams about Adam. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! He's so good looking. He's so horrible. But he's so how is he only 22? He looks like he's about 40. Yeah. Just like uh, how I look like I'm 22. You should get and it. I'm 40. Basically, we could, we could oh yeah. And my friend is the producer, right? If you are a producer of Love Island, send in me and Emma for a week, <laughs> trundling in in our one pieces. In our matching Joni oh dresses. Yeah. <laughs> we're ready for our night out at the villa. We're ready for date night. <gasps> and then at oh. date, on the date, I'm like, so. Um, <laughs> What's your ideal afternoon? Because mine is a bit of soft play and then some cocktail sausages in front of the telly with my kids. Do you like Team Mom? Who's your favourite? <laughs> what do you think of Farrah? Do you think I should go in Love Island? Yeah. Oh, do you think I'd win? Yes. Would you ring couple with me? Yeah, of course I would. Oh, that's love that is. <laughs> she shoves a bit of caramel smugly into her mouth. I'm here with Katie Louise is sorting the baby out with a bit of suntan lotion and putting her in the buggy. We're going to go on the rattan. A ratatatan. Ratatan. So Katie, I've already mentioned you that you're going to be here and go and subscribe. I want you to talk about why these, oh you haven't tried them yet. No, See, I haven't tried them. My them. people will know that I love a pop chip, but second to a pop chip these just, is I mean, a mix-up. What a genius invention. It's got everything, it's got a french fry, it's got a Dorito. I'm not. I'm not, I could do that. I'm not, I'm not blown away by a french fry myself. Oh, a spicy french fry. Oh, yeah, spicy. Mm. Monster leave, munch, leave, though. leave in the comments your favourite crisp. Yeah. Louise, what's your favourite crisp? Oh, I do love a red salted french fry. Oh, oh okay. what? If this wasn't your house, I'd ask you I, to leave. I like <laughs> a... Flouncing off. Oh, oh. Pickled onion monster munch. Oh, classic. Oh. And, sorry, I get quite passionate Go about this. A beef hula hoop. Oh, you both you both stumped us with that. We're like, oh, hanging out with these two is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Katie's Katie's doing investigative journalism. Louise, what are you doing? Just rolling. She's just sat next to us. At least Katie's got purpose. I'm, I'm, I'm engaging. You're engaging. Louise is just scrolling. Sure. She's like, I'm bored of your conversation i'm going to scroll look. what are you looking at right this moment tell me go oh yeah disney is pictures of new oh my movies. god i love oh yeah disney yeah. Hey, if guys. you if you don't follow oh yeah disney you have to i'm really sad they don't vlog as much because their vlogs are phenomenal yeah oh my god that tokyo merch oh my it's a little bit the tokyo merch is a little bit porny yeah. to me yeah um, i don't even Isn't like what? porny why because oh, it's just loads perfect. of Stationary. I so like I'll, I'll leave that below. If you love Disney, oh yeah, Disney are just such great Instagrammers. And then it's oh yeah M and oh yeah 
than the man, but I can't remember what the man is. I just follow her. She's my, she's my girl crush. Oh yeah, Em. I love her. Yeah, so if you're watching, which you won't be, oh yeah, Em, I've got a crush on you and that's probably really creepy, sorry. Yay, we've got our cousins on. <laughs> Shaking on us. What song's that? Shake what your mama gave you. My mum's dead. That <laughs> Does it have to be a video with Louise in that she doesn't talk about mum passing away? What's, what's it shaking on us? Shake S Club 7. S Club. They make no part of it. Who's your mum? Who's your mum? Who's your mum? Who's your mum? No, thank you. We're going to get in the, in the hot tub because Louise is sensing the hot tub. Um, this is only the second time I've been in a hot tub because I have my gammy leg. I think I'm going to struggle getting in. I'm always worried that I'm going to fall over because I generally do fall over. So we're going to get in the hot tub. There ain't no pile like a hot tub party. Oh, I'm cool. We're in the hot tub. Oh, they're talking about teeth. Kate, you've got any... I didn't notice she had any teeth, but now she's pointed it out. Kate, show your teeth. Show your teeth. What were they like before? Katie had beauty, has had beauty. Was it a brace? In, was it Invisalign? Yeah, she had Invisalign. What were they like before? Someone comes to chatting. Be careful, actually. Yeah, well, yeah just, just chatting in the hot tub. I'm going to put the camera out. Bye. I'm going. I, I didn't get the memo to um, put my hair up like the others. I look like a drowned rat. And also, I tried to suck my toe and nearly kick Katie in the face. I don't like my hair up. I, I actually wore my hair up in Disney, and then loads of people said, We like my hair up. I don't like my hair up. Do you know what it is? Can you do a top knot? No, no. Well, I'll probably, I don't know how to do it. A boyfriend once said to me, um, it's a good job you put your hair up all the time because it makes your face not look so fat. And then ever since then I've thought, if I have my hair up, then I'm, 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 pr I'm, I'm like going along with what he said. Yeah. You know who you are if you're watching. I don't think he will be watching. I hope he doesn't get genital warts, but I hope he's not very pleased with yourself. <laughs> 